Hello everyone, welcome back to episode uh, 3, yeah 3, of Feed the Beast on the Direwolf 21.7 pack. Oh yeah. So we are back here, and I just want to show you guys one of the main reasons <coughs> Tinker's Construct is amazing. And sorry if I sound a little bit clogged up, I am a little bit sick. But I want to I want to I want to get this video out for you guys. Even though my noise my nose is so clogged up right now, it's not even funny. Anyway, that's that's besides the point. Uh, we're here to play some Direwolf Twenty. So yeah, so as you guys can see, if I put my pick into the uh, the tool the tool station, as you guys can see, we got some modifiers. Um. So with these modifiers, we can add um, different features. Let me let me grab the book. It will give you guys a better representation. Um, materials are new. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, right here. So a diamond will give it plus 500 durability. This will give it plus 50% durability. More speed. Auto repair. Auto smell. And this is where I'm interested in fortune. So by adding this, we're going to get some fortune, and then there's more, a lot more modifiers. But the one we're looking at right now is the fortune modifier, because I actually found some diamonds, but I wanted to wait until I had a little bit of fortune. Now, this takes a lot of lapis to get to fortune 3, so hopefully I just want to see if I can get it to fortune 2, or fortune 1 at least, maybe. Doesn't really seem like we are. But I have a little bit of, you know. Alright. What did we get from that? We got... Yeah, I don't really think we got a... <clears throat> nice thing from that. That kind of sucks. We did it. I don't think we got fortune one, but just adding that now, if we if we mine lapis with this, it's gonna add to our fortune. All right. So I told you guys I found some diamonds. Let's go get those. Yeah, that was a creeper. I was like, whoa. Uh, my nose. Sorry if I like. Uh, I hate being sick. But I, I want to play some Feed the Beast, and to play this pack, I need, a, I need a record. So, yeah. So, I got some diamonds right here. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I forgot my pick is broken. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'll see you guys back when we're down there, because I got to do some stuff. All right. So, we're back, and uh, this time, everything should work. All right. So, I think it was four diamonds is what I remember. No, there's two over here. Yeah. So we got four, so we're, I'm pretty sure we're just going to get four because I don't think we have any fortune. Oh, apparently we do have a fortune. What? Oh, we have fortune one now, apparently. Well, okay, I'll take that. I like that, I like that. Good for me. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. Six diamonds, yes. Alright, <clears throat> I have a little bit more mining to go. And then, uh, we are probably going to get into a bit of some tech mods. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. So, we are back from mining. I actually still have to do a little bit of some mining. But we're about to add a new modifier to my pick. So, we got the diamonds, like you guys know. I'm going to put a diamond on there. Now, with this diamond, it's, of course, going to add 500 durability. But it's also going to give me the ability to harvest obsidian. So that's kind of the whole reason I'm going to put it on there. So now we got that. So that's really nice. It's actually a pretty decent pick now. Um, mining speed of 12. It's okay. The one thing that I'm having a very hard time finding here is I cannot find the redstone anywhere. I don't know why, but it just doesn't seem to exist. Um, so that's the only thing left for me to find. Um, hopefully if I can find that, then we can actually start doing some stuff. 
So yeah, I'm going to go back, mine a little bit more, try and find some redstone, and then we can actually get some stuff done, and we can start getting some machines, some ore doubling, and some automation, actually, and that will be very nice. So yeah, I'll see you guys back when I have some redstone. Guess who found some more diamond? Oh yeah. Still haven't found redstone, though. I don't, really? Two? Come on. Like, first, you're not going to let me find any redstone. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. What is that? Four? No fortune. Are you... Oh, my God. All right, whatever. So, I guess that diamond modifier, we just earned back, basically. And three extra. Uh, and some gold, too. But, oh, really? Ah. Oh, man, the luck I have, really. It's not even funny, man. Alright, so, well now we can actually add this lapis to my pick. Get some fortune 2, maybe. How much did we get? No, probably not fortune 2. Um, actually, mining it should have gotten our fortune up a little bit. We're at 48. Wait, was that more? Yeah, that was more. So, let's see. We were at 48. See, I don't know why, but sometimes it seems like it does give you, like, I don't know. But anyway... Just want to show you guys that I found more diamonds. And, ooh, more gold too. But, yeah, back for the hunt of redstone. Aw, oh, yeah. We finally, finally, finally found redstone. Alright, I think we're finally done mining. Um, I dug a really, really long time. Uh, I, I even dug a little bit more. Uh, I got a, a lot of materials actually i'll show you guys everything when we go back upstairs i think i actually have enough um lapis to get a decent fortune now and i got a decent amount of redstone that we can actually work with as you guys can see this is a really long tunnel i used up most of the durability of my pick actually um probably has only like yeah 50 54 more uses i could have probably continued until it broke but i didn't really feel like it because I, I have like a full inventory now so, yeah, I just want to go back to the surface. We got enough resources to the point where I'll probably not have to mine for a while. Um, I don't know why. If you guys remember, we had, like, no gold. Now I have almost a stack and a half of it. That Y level, I think I was at Y. One sec, let me get this. Ah, uh, do I, I don't even have inventory. Uh throw out uh, the, 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 the dirt. Oh. oh, crap. I want to throw that out. There we go. Yeah, I, was, I think I was at like Y level 10. And there was a lot of gold. Uh, so, yeah, we, we did pretty good at mining. But I think it's finally time where we can start looking at some ore doubling. And, um some automation so let me sort my inventory real quick i'm gonna try to organize these chests a little bit and then i'll be back to show you guys what we are going to do all right guys so i got all my important stuff that i really care about in this chest right here if you guys want to take a look at it this is everything we've gotten from mining uh i'm actually gonna take all this lapis and turn it into blocks and see if i can get a fortune uh, three on my pick. So, just gonna turn these... Oh, yeah, that should actually be enough. I, it takes... Actually, this is probably not gonna get me to Fortune 3. It should get me pretty high, though. Oopsie. Alright. This should at least get me Fortune 2. And... Alright, so we got a, oh yeah, we got pretty close actually, we have a mining of obsidian and, uh, let's see, that's, that's still a fortune one, but I'm pretty sure that's really close to fortune two. Anyway, it's time we start looking at power, the main bulk of feed the beast, the important stuff, all the machines, so we're going to need a way of generating power. So I thought we'd look at these generators from 
extra utilities. So I think what I want to build is this furnace generator. So it takes quite a lot of iron, which we, you know, we have a decent amount of. Um, I think what I want to do is just get one of these going. So that should be, I think it's like 14 iron or so. So let's open this chest up and grab, let's say 15 iron. Actually, I'm going to throw some of it in here and split the rest of this into three. Grab a stack of coal, split this into three. Not really a stack, but you know. No, don't do that, do that. Put you there, you there, and we'll just do that. All right, so we got the small three. Uh, we have four ingots in there. I, I made an ingot cast, so I can just pour the iron in here. Oh, my God, my nose, it's so stuffy. It's really annoying. <clears throat> so, let's see. We got two, two. All right, uh, we just need one more. If you guys were unaware, this actually doubles it too. So you just saw there I got four iron from two. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but it's kind of slow since we have a small smeltery. But, oh, what the heck? I thought we had a full. Alright, boom, boom, boom. Let's pour the rest out, I guess. And we're also going to need a stack of cobble. I, I have a lot of cobble now from doing that mining. So, I, I remember earlier in the series I said I was low on cobble. And I don't think we're ever going to be able to say that ever again. Because after this comes a quarry. And then, you know, once you have a quarry, you have life, basically. So, let's look at this. So, we're going to need iron, redstone, and that's basically it. And then we already have the cobble. Let's grab the redstone. Open this thing up. Um, just need this. And now we should be able to get this. Boom. Oh, yeah. So we got one of those. Alright. So now we have a way of generating power. So throw this down. The way this works, I think. If I just grab... Let's stay... Let's see, a stack of coal, throw it in this baby, and it now will generate 40 RF per tick, and it's going to fill up this 500,000 RF internal buffer, so that's pretty cool. So now that we got a way of generating power, we're going to need a way of using that power, and that's not what I want to do, let's do that. So. To start with, I think we're going to start uh, using Ender I.O. for the beginning of our power. So Ender I.O. is really nice. It has a lot of cool machines. And what we're going to make here is we are going to make a sag mill. Which requires some flint, some iron, a lot of stuff there. Uh, let's see how much iron we have for it got in there. Let's pour that out. Alright, so let's take more iron ore and just throw it in the smeltery for now. Because I'm going to I'm gonna gather up all the materials and uh, then I will be back with you guys once we have enough stuff to make the machines I would like to make. So yeah, see you guys then. Alright, I finally think we have enough iron and everything to actually make machines. This took a while actually. So I'm actually happy I cut that out because this, of how long it took, this thing actually is full. So what I learned, it takes about like, let's say 24 coal to get 500,000 RF. That's not that bad. Not bad at all. But anyway, we can finally make machines. So I'm going to start with the sag mill. We need a piston. We got a piston. Boom, 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 boom. Open this back up, we need this, and for that we need to, let's do that, alright, and then this, this, we're going to need two of these anyway, so I'm just going to make two, alright, 
then we're gonna open this back up and do that we need two of those anyway and let's make that boom boom open this up do we even have enough i think we have enough iron right yeah that's enough open this up a cauldron like why a cauldron i don't know open what what are we missing <clears throat> what are we missing from that what oh we don't have that really where'd that one go don't know don't care as long as it doesn't require iron we're all good boom there what oh my god i already had one of those what? What? What am I missing? Iron. Oh, you have to be kidding me. <sighs> the struggle, man. The struggle. Alright. There. Now we have enough. Open this. This. No, that's, that's not what I was. Capacitor banks. Alright, we finally have our stuff. Hallelujah. Time to make a separate chest now. So, we have this thing. We're gonna go boom. Boom. Toss a chest here. These are all gonna fill up. They have a 100,000 RF buffer. So, what are we gonna do here? We're going to go to configure. You're going to accept. Yeah. That's accepting, right? All right, that's accepting. You are also going to, you're going to push and pull. And you are also going to go into push and pull mode. There we go. So, now that we got that configured, this thing is going to run again. But anyway, now we got that configured, let's toss all our stuff in the chest for a second. Oh, uh, giving me back my steak. Let's grab a bunch of ores. Let's just go like boom, 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 boom. Let's just grab all of these ores. Open this up. Toss them all into here. And this should start working. No, 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 no. We do not want you to do that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Configure. You are only going to pull. There we go. Do that. We want the ores to go in here. Then they're going to be sent back into here. And then get sent into here. To smelt. No, you need to push and pull, actually. Push and pull. But we don't want you taking the freaking ore. Don't take the ore. Uh, actually, I think I can put... Let's go... Furnace only, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. So we got this stuff working, finally. It's about damn time. So that is just keeping up, luckily. Um, we are... Generating just enough RF to keep to keep that going for both those machines and remember when we planted these a while back Yeah, they've definitely grown right Yeah, definitely have grown a lot more right. I told you guys. I told you guys they spread And they're actually not too bad not too bad. They're keeping me alive pretty well actually So that's pretty good. Everything's going pretty good, you know we got our first machines. We got some automation. No, don't do that, you idiots. There we go. I only want you to take the dust. We're trying to ore double here. All right. Let's throw some more coal. Oh, coal. So now we got this done. What is next on the list? Well, first of all, I'd like to repair this pick. Uh, where's my iron? This worked pretty, pretty nicely for getting me more iron, because if you guys didn't notice, we actually don't have too much iron, surprisingly. Alright, there we go. 
Let's repair this a little bit. Good enough. Fortune one still. All right, everything is going pretty nicely. So what is next on the list? I think we're going to want to maybe expand the house a little bit. I think that'd be a pretty good idea. So let's see, let's, let's go back in here. Because I'm going to want to throw these machines somewhere else. I don't want them going all the time and making the sound. It's actually kind of an annoying thing. Not very good for recording. Anyway, we're going to get that. Get like two stacks of that. And get a stack of that. Alright. So, let's continue our house going this way. Sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Hi, creeper buddy. Don't do it. Okay, thanks for doing that. I love creepers. Alright. Fix this hole up. I hear a skeleton. Don't like that either. Oh my god. Where are? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Freaking day. You, you die now. You don't survive in the day. Oh god. Almost enough dirt to actually patch up the whole hole. The whole hole. Yep. One more. There we go. There was never a creeper explosion there. Alright, so let's clear this out a little bit. Okay, so how big do we want this room? What? That's a little bit messed up. I don't like that connected texture very much. This is the same cobblestone, right? Yeah, it's the same cobble. Looks weird. That's weird. Why does it do that? I don't know. It doesn't seem right. Anyway, I think we're going to go with about this size room. This actually might be our storage room, come to think of it, because we actually need a nice storage room to store some stuff in, because we're getting quite a bit of some items, and if we're going to do quarry soon, we're going to need some more room. So, definitely want to start looking at some of that stuff. Alright, let's get this down. Uh, that's about, that's a good enough size room, I think. Alright. So yeah, that's a pretty decent size room. Uh, we're probably going to have some chests. I'm going to show you guys some different chest options. Eventually, we might get to an ME system. I don't know, I don't really like AE2, but we kind of have to. AE's pretty pretty necessary I think I don't think you can play feed the beast without having an AE system so I might need to do a little bit of some learning maybe if I actually learn AE2 uh, I might like it you know but anyway I think I'm gonna finish this room off and um, I will show you guys it in the next episode because I think we are getting pretty close to that wrapping up point that dreaded wrapping up point so, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I also want to thank you guys for all the support that's been shown on these last few videos. We've been growing pretty rapidly as a channel, and I just want to thank you guys for that. I think I've gained about, like, 15 subs in the past maybe week and a half. And that is actually really good. Um, it really helps motivate me to make more videos. I feel like making daily videos for you guys. And it just helps me a lot, knowing, seeing, seeing progress on my channel and stuff like that. So I just want to thank you guys that give yourselves a pat on the back if you guys have ever liked my videos, if you're a subscriber, if you've ever favored it, if you've ever left a comment, just, you know, I don't care what you've done, whatever you've done, it, it seems to be helping the channel, so just continue doing what you guys are doing, uh, I really appreciate it. Anyway guys, I'm going to have to end it here, this has been Call Me Karma, hopefully my annoying, um, sick voice sounding terrible hasn't annoyed you guys too much this episode uh i want to get an episode out for you guys today because i just felt like it is this okay we're still going good yeah i just want to give you guys a, a another episode hopefully i can continue doing pretty regular uploads um i think i've been doing a pretty good job at it 
So yeah, that's going to do it for now. See you guys, hopefully tomorrow, for a new upload, a new day, a new machine, a new whatever we do tomorrow. I'm not sure. So, yeah, see you guys later. Peace.